All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son through the name of the Holy Spirit. That's called Loyim, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kodash. Peace and blessings unto the children of God, all those laboring to be in the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, our Savior. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kodash. Barak to all you listeners who may tune into this. This is the Brother Yitzhak Cock from the Living Waters channel, account and channel here in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, I want to entitle this one today, How Do You Give Glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah? Give glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah by representing him well. You know, we don't give glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah because we can get on our knees, we can throw our hands up and down, we can, you know, uh, hold our hands uh, open, you know, uh, say kahalayim, you know, because I you know, because we can give great um, intros, uh, as, you know, I just did, you know, uh, in the Paleo Hebrew, reverencing the name of the Heavenly Father. It's not how you give glory to the Heavenly Father, you know, not by thanking him for uh, the things that he's doing either, you know, uh, which that's a part of it, but that's not the whole, that's not the, the major uh functionality behind and giving behind giving glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, the the when when it's saying give glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is really talking about representing him well, taking up his mantle, you know, being an, an ambassador of the Heavenly Father, being a representative of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son. That's how you give glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know. Um and I got some precepts and Lord willingness edifying them Get into it. It's Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. It says, For Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we do and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. You know, so the reason the Heavenly Father holds this as a memorial is because you are upholding his principles, right? It says he is not unrighteous to forget our labor of love why because the heavenly father is all about laboring within love you know it says what you have showed towards his name so we've shown it towards his name why because uh how because that's the same thing that he's done you know um reversing the name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son or uh, believing upon the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, meaning that you are adapting everything that or adopting everything that's uh, associated with the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. You know, so you're you're gonna that means you're gonna take up the mantle of walking within, uh, um, laboring within love as well. You know, it says for Yahweh Bashim is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which you have showed towards his name and that you have ministered to the saints. Yeah, and that we have ministered unto the saints, served the saints, which the Heavenly Father um, is all about ministering, serving, and do minister and, and, and serving some more, you know, uh, you, you ministering unto the saints and you're a servant, you know. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Why? Because this is what it's all about. This is what the world to come is all about. You know, uh, laboring within love. You know, all creation growing within the labor of love. Ministering unto the saints and ministering. You know, and this also represents uh, uh, the whole M.O. and premise and uh, presence of Yahweh Bashim Yashah. Because glory is nothing but the the manifestation of uh, of a god you know so uh, you know physic uh, a manifestation of a god and of the presence of god you know so once again the reason the heavenly father holds this as a memorial is because you are upholding his principles and integrity in the sight and interaction of men right because how can a man say that he loves god and he cannot love his brother whom he have seen, you know, or he cannot love uh, the, the creatures of the Heavenly Father because through the creature, proportionably, the beauty of the maker is seen, you know. So laboring in love should be a thing that we are consistent in, one, because this is how we give glory to the Heavenly Father. And number two, this is the overall 
landscape of and behavior that everybody is headed towards and that the heavenly father is pleased with you know um this is what everything is all about charity you know being more charity charitable you know the heavenly father is sending fire to invoke uh people to be more charitable to be more loving to be more uh considering and compassionate why because having these traits make for a world where in is peaceful and, and 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 joyful you know let's go here this proverbs 14 31 it says he that appro oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker but he that honor of him have mercy on the poor you see there we go again so this is like a backup for hebrews 6 and 10 you know this that's a precept for that because it, it's telling you he that and and what we were just speaking about he that oppresses the poor reproaches his maker. So if you're oppressing the poor, you're reproaching your maker. Why? Because the Heavenly Father doesn't oppress the poor. He's a God of the poor, you know. So if you're being, uh, matter of fact, let's get this word oppressive. To press upon, oppress, violate, defraud, do violence, which is unjustly injustice, get deceitfully, wrong, distort, to oppress, wrong, yeah, to be exploited or crushed. Yeah, so to deceive or defraud, to yeah, to deceive or defraud them, or uh, press upon, or do them unjustly, or do them deceitfully, you know, this would be, um, uh, this this would be the same thing as uh, that 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 would be reproaching your maker, you know, if you're if you're defrauding the poor, you know, which the, that the poor can be likened unto those who are destitute of wisdom and knowledge, you know, or those who have an inability to restrain them, refrain themselves from corrupt desires. You know, these are the poor, you know, and if you're doing, if you're defrauding them from attributes such as love and the labor of it, you know, you're reproaching your maker, which means you're not giving glory to your maker. It says he that oppresseth the poor reproach of his maker, but he that honor of him have mercy on the poor. Right. So honor is synonymous with glory. So you give honor, glory to the heavenly father by being merciful unto the poor. You know, which when you go into merciful, matter of fact, let's get it. We can just go into it. Let's go into it a little bit. Let's go into it a little bit. We ain't got to play with it. Get some sin now. Mercy. Compassion or forgiveness on Google. Compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. Right. Yep, within one's power to punish or harm. Right. Because if you see somebody in the life of sin or you or you know that someone's in the life of sin or a sinful, wicked, perverse person or profane person profane person you know uh you, you could feel like okay it's justified to be able to uh treat them harshly or or you know not be uh full and tenacity towards forgiveness humanity forbearance charity pity grace compassion leniency and clemency sympathy kindness sympathy kindness and liberality and generosity you know favor and blessing these things you won't feel like you sh you could feel like you won't have to be as fervent within these aspects, you know, if someone is poor, you know, but this is the time where you're supposed to be more, even more fervent within these aspects. Well, this is husbandry, hate not husbandry, which the most high has ordained, neither laborious work, the labor of love, that's laborious work, you know. So when we talk about... um we're talking about giving glory and honor unto the heavenly father you know if you're if you're if you're depriving if you're depriving the poor which is those who are destitute of, of wisdom or of or certain knowledges or those who have an inability to refrain from corrupt desires men of infirmity the weak you know if you defraud them of aspects that we just re read that correlate with being being merciful then you're you're dishonoring the heavenly father you're not giving glory to the heavenly father you know so the reason this is so uh so let me read it one time so like it this proverbs 14 31 he that oppresses the poor reproach of his maker but he that honor of him have mercy on the poor so the reason this is so is because this is adversarial 
this is adversarial to what Yahweh Shemashah would do. You give glory to Yahweh Shemashah by mirroring his enduring attributes and most magnificent qualities. Yeah, that's how you give glory to the Heavenly Father is by uh, mirroring, mimicking his enduring attributes such as uh, matter of fact, I got one in Joel 2 and 13. This is an example of the Heavenly Father's uh, uh, enduring attributes. This is Joel 2 and 13. And rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord, Yahweh your power, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repenting, repenting him of the evil. So the Heavenly Father is all about being merciful and gracious you know, this is this is the uh, enduring. Uh, these are the enduring attributes of the Heavenly Father. This is what, you know, perpetually is going to be uh, going forth from our power. You know, he's slow to anger. He re repents himself of evil. He's of great kindness. These are the enduring attributes of the Lord, uh, 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 the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son. So in able to um, so 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 to be able to give glory and honor unto the heavenly father and his only begotten son we have to mirror uh aspects and traits such as what we just read in joel 2 and 13 you know this is how we give honor and glory unto him the, and these are his most magnificent qualities because these are the things that we would like to seek from the heavenly father we would like graciousness we would like mercy we would like him to be slow to anger with us we would like him to be of great kindness with us and we would want him to repent himself of serving certain evils talk, thought towards us you know and that's why we are to do that to our neighbor and to our brother you know which is one and the same you know because the heavenly father's doing it we want it from the Heavenly Father. This is why we love the Heavenly Father and look at the Heavenly Father is so great. So we are to embody these things and also follow after that example, you know, and it's just common sense. If you want these things, why would you not push them out? You know, but this is a, a normal, a, a normal thing, so to speak, for humans. You know, most humans don't know how to um they, they don't understand that love to their neighbor in fullest extent is love to them in, in the fullest extent you know the only way to be able to get the things that you want you know that's pleasurable is to be pleasurable unto someone else the only way to have a world where in dwell of righteousness and peace is to be the world where of where in dwell of righteousness and peace you know let's go here it's Deuteronomy chapter 15 and 7. It says, If there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of thy gates in thy land, which the Lord thy power giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thine heart, nor shut thine hand from thy poor brother. Why? Because this is what the Heavenly Father is all about. This is why it was written in the law, you know, because it's, it's letting us know what the Heavenly Father is all about, you know, what his... Um, what his person, so to speak, is all about, you know, his attributes contain, you know, is 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 regardless of um what's going on, you know, being there for the poor, you know, being there for your poor brother, man, you know, and you know, seeing your brother struggle or seeing your brother be in a position of hurt, or seeing your neighbor be in a position of difficulty and uh hardening your heart towards them that's being evil you know and it's being dishonorable to the heavenly father and it's being irreverential towards him which means you're not giving him glory you know verse eight but thou shalt open thy hand wide unto him and surely lend him sufficient for his need and that which he want of right yeah we me and my brother karaf we did a lesson uh called the lending and borrowing system and another lesson we did called many have refused to lend because of other man's ill dealings you know what i'm saying so when you're lending you're lending qualities or you're lending uh traits that could be beneficial to someone else's growth you know you're covering 